Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Berlin. My name is Johann Schar. I'm the chair of the steering committee of ALNAP. And it's my great pleasure and privilege to open this uh, 32nd annual meeting of uh, ALNAP. We are coming of age, I think 32, that's sort of approaching maturity. <clears throat> we are extremely grateful to the German Federal Foreign Office for hosting us and for giving us such an in, in impressive and, and sort of historic environment uh, to, to conduct this meeting. The theme during these two days is very fundamental to humanitarian action. Relevance for whom? Expanding and, and reflecting on the diversity of the communities and the people that we meet and ensuring that what we do is as relevant as is possible in very differing and, and changing contexts. We often think we know exactly what is needed. It's usually about food, shelter, medical supplies, and a bit more. But as we will learn during these couple of days, there's much more to it. And this is really an opportunity to, to learn from each other and, and from recent research on this very important topic. I would like to welcome to the floor and to the podium uh, Dr. Babel Koffler. Uh, who is the Commissioner for Human Rights Policy and Humanitarian Assistance in the German Federal Government. Please, Dr. Koffler. Thank you. Thank you very much and good morning to everybody. I just said in the beginning I very much enjoy this setting because it's more communicative and more interactive and I was expecting everybody sitting on the row here. Uh, so I very much enjoy that and I hope that is also a good sign for a good atmosphere and an interactive atmosphere for the conference. Well, I'm very pleased to open this year's ALNAP annual meeting on behalf of the Federal Foreign Office. You're all most welcome. And a special welcome uh, goes, of course, to our trusted partners from ALNAP, with whom we worked on the organization of this conference. The topic of the meeting, relevant for whom, responding to diverse perspectives and priorities in humanitarian action is indeed very important, not least due to the growing number, complexity, and duration of humanitarian crisis. These developments demonstrate the undisputed high relevance of and great need for humanitarian assistance. However, humanitarian actors are faced with challenges and growing humanitarian needs, which are diverse and often remain unmet. In this increasingly difficult context, the humanitarian system has to come up with new approaches in order to maximize its impact on the people in need. First of all, the nexus debate is very important. It stresses the importance of reducing the burden on humanitarian actors, for example, by preventing humanitarian crisis, resolving conflicts, and finding sustainable solutions to crises. Instruments such as stabilization or development cooperation play an important role in this regard. We need to ensure coherence between the various instruments by respecting the different mandates and, in the case of humanitarian assistance, of course, the humanitarian principles. Secondly, the World Humanitarian Summit and the Grain Bargain have added a new dynamic to improving the quality and efficiency of humanitarian assistance in today's often protracted crisis context. Germany has been following up on its commitments on an ongoing basis. We aim to offer our partners as much flexibility as possible in using funds. We are piloting new funding instruments and we foster various exchange formats with our humanitarian partners and other stakeholders. This exchange is important in order to see how we can best support our partners in delivering principled and needs-based assistance and how we can respond to new crises. In addition, we work with our partners to demonstrate the impact of our humanitarian funding to the public. 
At the same time, we expect our partners to actively involve those concerned in the assessment processes and to engage with diverse groups among the affected population. This is important as regards strengthening accountability and guaranteeing the relevance and needs orientation of the assistance delivered. Another field that Germany has been increasingly looking at is humanitarian access. I'm sure you all have to uh, deal with this growing, growing challenge. The largest and sometimes the most diverse humanitarian needs are found particularly in places with the most difficult access to affected populations. Strict adherence to humanitarian principles is crucial for maintaining access for humanitarian workers. However, the shrinking humanitarian space and the increasing disregard for humanitarian principles, especially in conflicts, are a matter of grave concern to us. Germany, along with France, has thus made safeguarding humanitarian space and improving humanitarian access two priorities of its current membership of the UN Security Council. The humanitarian call for action is a product of our joint efforts to offer tangible solutions and guidance in this regard. It was launched during the opening week of the 74th session of the UN General Assembly last month. Improving humanitarian access is also one of the priorities of our new humanitarian assistance strategy, which we published in the spring. Our strategy focuses on the importance of improving the relevance of humanitarian assistance and the need to deliver needs-based assistance. This means that in accordance with the principles of impartiality, we make sure that humanitarian assistance is provided on the basis of need and without discriminating against any group or individuals. We also consider gender, age, and disability mainstreaming to be an important prerequisite for delivering needs-based assistance. To this end, we have developed a gender, age, and disability marker to help us to evaluate and monitor how inclusive a project is. We are currently working to systemize data collection to further improve the monitoring of the mainstreaming process. And we are also compiling lessons learned to encourage our partners to consider inclusion to a greater extent throughout the project cycle. At the same time, we aim to deliver assistance while taking into account special cultural contexts, diverse needs and changing situations on the ground. National and local humanitarian organizations play an important role in this regard, as they are familiar with the specific cultural context and language and are often well established on the ground. We aim to help increase localization within humanitarian assistance, including through the great grant bargain work streams. We want local and national humanitarian actors to gain greater access to international humanitarian funding, to receive support in building their professional capacities, and to be treated as genuine partners and not as mere implementers. In 2018, Germany provided an estimated share of 20.5% of its humanitarian funding to local and national organizations, either directly through the country-based pooled fund or indirectly through international partners. Another important instrument uh, is cash and voucher assistance. We are promoting, promoting cash and voucher assistance. Um, that is another priority of our work. To date, only some 10% of humanitarian as assistance worldwide is given to the, in, in this form of cash and vouchers. There's strong evidence regarding the effectiveness of cash assistance. It gives people dignity and choice, even in the most difficult situations. We have therefore pledged to increase the use of cash in our humanitarian programming, also at the World Humanitarian Summit, Anchor and Bargain, and we stand firm on this point. In this context, technology is key. Electronic payment systems make it possible to reach people affected by a crisis quickly and safely, 
and we encourage our partners to test new and innovative approaches. But of course, digital technology also means that more personal data is being used and, as a result, data protection and data responsibility are areas that the humanitarian sector still needs to tackle. And, sp and speaking of innovation, in our humanitarian programming, just yesterday, we hosted an international workshop on the future of innovation in humanitarian assistance. The purpose of yesterday's event was to tackle barriers to introducing better products, instruments and processes into humanitarian action and the humanitarian system. Well, I've mentioned just a few aspects of our ongoing uh, endeavors to towards more relevant, needs-based and effective humanitarian assistance. I can assure you that we will continue our exchange and coordination with our humanitarian partners to jointly improve the situation of people in need worldwide. And this forum, this week's forum, provides us with an excellent occasion for this. I hope you will all have a successful and productive conference with interesting discussions and exchanges. My colleagues and I will be very interested to hear about the results of your conference. I wish you all the best for your work and thank you for, very much for your attention. All the best. Thank you.